All right, next one I'm going to talk about here. Uh, why do non-traditional women still expect traditional men? Um, this is something I've seen articles like this and in a lot of dating profiles that I do. And at the end of this video, if you're watching on Locals, I'll be doing three of them. If you're watching here on YouTube, it'll be after, it'll be in the video, this one right here. I'm tired of people judging me for my looks. So if you're, if you're wanting to see uh, three dating profiles of the day, it'll be in that video. Um, but in the dating profiles of the day, there's, there's uh, or in, in dating profiles today, I should say, women are saying, hey, you know what? I want to, man, men should pay for the meals. Men should pay. And I want a guy that makes good money and I want him to support me and I want him to take care of me and I want him to be uh, successful and old fashioned and do all these wonderful things for me. And then guys kind of say, okay, well, what are you doing for me? And, and then we get the whole, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you think I should, I am a strong and powerful, empowered woman and I can do anything I want and I work and make my own money that I'm not going to spend on you. I'm going to keep it. And uh, I, I get to be like a man and sleep with whoever I want. And it doesn't matter how many partners I've had. And it doesn't matter if I already have kids. You need to uh, support me and my children as if they're your own. And guys are kind of like, do you cook even? No, don't cook. What am I getting out of this deal? And they realize they're not getting too much. Uh, well, this is, this is from Evie. And again, with Evie Magazine, I agree with many of the articles they put out because, but they look at the lens, they look at the world through the lens of uh, what real men, hey, I want a real man. I want an old fashioned man. But what they don't do is they don't say, I am an old fashioned woman. I, I, can, I can cook, I can clean, I will stay home and raise the kids. We'll do in-home teaching so kids don't have to go to all these crazy schools and learn all this crap anymore. No, I'll stay home and do all the housework. I'll make sure your lunch is ready for work. I'll cook a breakfast. None of that. Really what we kind of get is we get dudes with boob, boobs. That, that's really what a, a, a girlfriend or a wife are nowadays is they're, they're dudes with boobs. And so they, they say 50-50 on the housework and 50-50 uh, in all things except your money, your money they want access to, and their money that they earn, well, that's their money. So, but they also don't cook and take care of you in it. So really they've basically, they just make themselves available in the bedroom for a little while to usually you get married and then that goes away. And then after that, it's like being, having a roommate. That's why so many relationships fall into living with a roommate that used to be a girlfriend uh, because you start acting like roommates because there's no, there's no individuality. They don't bring anything unique to the table. So Evie wrote this 10 things real men should be doing for women. First, let me tell you something. If you ever use the word real men in front of anything when talking to me or writing something to me, my response usually is going to be something like, fuck you, blow me. Yeah, uh, because if I said, well, yeah, well, real women cook and real women take care of their man and real women, oh, I'd be shamed out of the building. So don't start the opposite. And you can't shame us with the real man thing. Real men don't listen to women when it comes to that kind of thing. So they say men find themselves walking a fine line these days. Many women have subscribed to the belief that acts of chivalry are demeaning and oppressive. Others, though, assert that they are there are no good men left. There's lots of good men left. It's just the, the bad boys that sleep with anyone, but they're the top percentage and the rest of them are invisible. So what's a man to do? Hold the door open for a woman in the hopes that she will thank him for his good manners or let the door go in case she harbors an anti-patriarchy attitude. We would argue that it's always best to err on the side of chivalry. After all, real men do act with respect towards women. Real men, and this is what I'm saying, real men will treat women the same as they do other men, which is you're polite to them. And here's the thing, I hold the door open for other guys like if I'm going down and I'm leaving in the apartment or I'm leaving a store or something and there's someone right behind me, I, hey, I drag a hand and hold the door open until they catch it. If I'm going out of a door, I, I'll stand there for a second or two just holding it up long enough that they can grab it with their hand because otherwise it's kind of rude when you drop it in their face. But do I change that based on a woman? No, no, it's just called being polite. But we're not gonna go out of our way for women anymore. And why? Because this is what women have asked for. 
Women are equal. Women wanted to be treated equal. Women are completely equal to men, even in sports, apparently. Although I'm not really sure why the WNBA exists. Because we all know if Le- LeBron James uh, called himself LeBrona Jamie, Jamie's and uh, walked onto the WNBA court, he'd have like 112 points in a game. Like he would just, it could be him alone against five players of the WNBA. And I think he'd do pretty well. So uh, they say, uh, holding the door. This is a common act of courtesy that doesn't need to be reserved just for woman. That's what I just said. Uh, I didn't read this ahead uh, ahead of time. I Like I scrolled through and I just looked at the big bold uh, things here. So I hit a button there. I haven't, so I haven't read everything they've said. I just read the headlines here. Holding the door. Yeah, that's what I said. So it's not, they said, but here's what they say. Bonus points if the door holding is followed up with a smile and a pleasant hello. Nope. Sorry, you don't get that anymore. Why? Because it makes a woman feel good. It makes her feel special. That guy's like, hello, how are you? And she's like, oh, he maybe he thinks I'm attractive or, nope, we don't do that anymore. Don't do it. It's a trap. We don't do that. Carrying heavy objects. Nope, don't do that either. Biology proves that men generally have greater physical strength than women. Nope, not according to the left. Not according to if you uh, browse on Twitter. I have another article that I'm going to read where a, uh, a, a uh, one of the students from, um, I think it was Penn State University, uh, he transitioned and he, he, man, he did a great job at beating all the women's records. But he's, you know, he's just like a woman. That's why he can perform. And, and now men can have babies. That's what we've been told by at least the far left, that men can have babies too. So, so no, we're all the same. That's, that's what I've been credibly told, at least. They say, therefore, it's thoughtful when a man takes on a woman's burden. That's right, fellas. You got to be a pack mule. Just, just help her out with that. Even if it's just carrying an overstuffed bag of groceries to her front door, lending a helping hand or bicep should always be welcomed. Well, um, the only time I'd be grabbing an overstuffed bag and carrying it to her front door is if it was someone I'm dating. And yeah, of course you can help the person that you're dating, but do you think I'm going to randomly help a woman carry something? Nope. She should have gotten a cart. Because what happens when a guy gets something that's too heavy? He gets a cart or maybe another dude helps him, but yeah, he should, he has to get a cart. There's no one help. See, and this is what I don't understand. Oh, men and women are completely equal. Okay, what happens if a man gets something that's way too heavy for him or he's got a lot of things to juggle? Well, he's got to make three or four trips or he's got to get a cart or he's, or he's got to get a dolly or something. What happens when a woman does? Man should help her. No, a woman should get a dolly and a cart. We're in the equal generation now. This is, again, what you want. Now, I'm not saying this is the same for someone that you're dating or someone that's special, but I'm just saying, look, this is you guys have been pushing for equality. We're equal. That's it. They say walking on the outside of the sidewalk, men should act as protectors. No, we don't do that anymore. I've been told that we should not protect women, that women are perfectly fine of taking care of themselves and they don't need us mansplaining and they don't need us, uh, you know, trying to be, be, to show them up or try to act like we're better than them. Nope. So they say, while it may be unlikely that women will trip and fall off the sidewalk into oncoming traffic, a man who walks on the side closest to the street show that he's thinking about his significant other's safety. So that way, if he trips, he's the one that falls into traffic and is killed instead of her. (laughs) What? What? So it's okay. Again, men, you are disposable. It's okay if you trip and fall into traffic. And I guess what they're thinking is that if she trips and falls towards traffic, you're there to stop her. Okay, well then who's there to stop me if I trip and I fall and start falling for traffic? Again, we're all equal, right? Giving her your coat. Ah, the sweetest self-sacrificial act of old romance films. This one should never go out of style. If a woman is cold, there's nothing better to warm her than the outerwear of her beloved. It not only shows that he cares enough about her to suffer a bit for himself, but also it looks super cute. Nope, here's how that goes. I'm cold. Guess you should have brought a jacket. The end. Because what happens when a guy is cold? Because most guys are not going to fit in their girlfriend's jackets. 
Well, he just has to suffer. See, the thing is, if, if women want to get taken care of, they never become self-sufficient because men have to take care of themselves. That's why men are much more self-sufficient. When I have a flat tire, and, and I'm going back a little bit, I never, I don't have any of these roadside assistance and all this extra insurance. When I buy a car, no extra bells and whistles, no undercoating, none of that crap. If I get a flat tire, I change it. If I run out of gas, I'm walking probably several miles, although I haven't run out of gas. But if you do, I'm walking several miles to get a gas can and carry, you know, carrying it back all the way to my car and filling it up. You know, men do not have safety options. If a man doesn't have a job, he's probably going to be homeless. Women have tons of safety options. So here's the thing. If you give your coat to her every time she gets cold, she'll be like, well, I might get cold. Uh, but if I do, he has his jacket. Nope. You just say, forget it. Uh, as a matter of fact, they, they have this meme right here. Uh, this is from uh, that 70s show. Uh, the girl says, oh, it's kind of cold. And the boyfriend says, here, take my jacket. She says, I love you. God, we're such the perfect couple. And then this other girl says, I'm cold too. And uh, <laughs> her boyfriend says, well, damn, Jackie, can't control. I can't control the weather. Yeah, exactly. Uh, giving up your seat. The other quintessential self-sacrificing act, standing up so a lady can sit, be it on a crowded subway or at a bar, uh, barbecue with a limited lawn chairs, a man who offers the opposite sex a seat will always be awarded major politeness awards. Now, I did check, and you know what? You hear that sound? That's how much you get for politeness points. Zero. You get a little sound effect. You don't get any actual real money for politeness points. It doesn't mean that you get a date. It doesn't mean you get a phone number. Matter of fact, a lot, a lot of times lately, it doesn't even mean that you get a thank you. Politeness points are bullshit. You don't, they don't give you anything. So, uh, you know, not going to happen anymore. And, and again, I saw another meme where a guy was sitting down and a woman, they were on a, a bus or a train or tram or something. And the woman said, uh, you know, you could get up to let a pregnant woman sit down. And he's like, I didn't force you to get pregnant by a dude that, that doesn't have a car. I mean, you know, it's just, again, ladies, if you were the delicate flowers that were coming forth and you were saying, you know what, I am i don't know how to do all these things. And and I'm very feminine. I do know how to cook. I, I will take care of you in the bedroom. I'll make sure you have a clean house. I'll give you back massages. Uh, I'll cook you breakfast in the morning. Like I will do all these feminine things for you then guys would be like, yeah, I'll still, do, I'll still do masculine things for you. But when women don't bring that to the table anymore, men are like, what do I get out of this? Literally nothing. Uh, bringing flowers. They say uh, uh, surprising your woman just out of nowhere with flowers. Hey, yeah, I'm okay with that. Like, I'm all right with that. But women have to surprise their guys with uh, maybe his favorite dessert after a hard day's work and he comes home or – uh, you cook dinner for him, like his favorite dinner with a dessert. That would be great. Maybe surprise him with a little cute outfit for the bedroom or something like that. Women, again, it's got to go both ways, though. Speaking ref respectfully, a woman should never be spoken to like she's the catcher on the opposing team. Profane language, slang, and terms like dude that should be reserved for the bros have no place around a lady. Instead, she, would be, she should be spoken to with respect and eloquence. Shakespeare used, a verse, uh, used, Shakespeare used verse to compare his love to a summer's day. It's time to bring back high standards in speech. Hey, you know what would be great? If women didn't speak like bros and dudes. Women today use pretty foul language. As a matter of fact, I've heard many a woman that uses worse language than men. And again... I'm okay with them using it, but don't think like we're going to start speaking out of some Shakespearean sonnet when you're, you're the one talking like a, um, like a sailor on shore leave. And they say women should be spoken to with, with respect. Well, you know what? When women are more respectful and earn men's respect, then maybe we'll bring that back. But today in society, again, the vast majority of women right now or a good majority of women aren't doing so much to win the respect of men. They say calling in te instead of texting. Eh, okay, maybe there's a case for that. Oh, and here it is. Of course, you knew it was coming. P 
paying the bill. See, honey, I, I work as a woman, I work, and as a man, you work. I keep my money, but also you spend your money on me. That way I win twice. They say a real man, there's that shame language I told you about, a real man wants to provide for his woman. While it's often true nowadays that a woman makes as much or more than her significant other, a man who always picks up the bill pro proves that he's both capable of supporting his lady and more importantly, that he desires to do so. Okay, so why isn't it reversed? Why isn't it re reserved? A real woman wants to provide for her man, especially when she makes as much or more than her man. And so to show that she can and desires to do so, why doesn't she take care of it? Well, this is old fashioned, you see. Okay, show me an old fashioned woman. Bring me an old fashioned woman. Then we'll talk. I have no problem. You know what? I would have no problems paying for every meal and taking care of the bills around the house and being the protector if I found a traditional woman. No problems. Putting ladies first. We've all heard this phrase, but, uh, but likely hear it less and less these days. So when a man abides by this rule, it's exceedingly refreshing. A man who puts a woman first, whether it's ordering at a restaurant or queuing at the supermarket, demonstrates patience and self-sacrifice. Okay, so what are we sacrificing ourselves though? Why? That's the big question. Why are we, again, we don't get thanked a lot of times. We, we, there's no benefit. See, when men used to do this, they were thanked. Maybe a woman would say a kind word. Maybe he'd be able to strike up a conversation, ask a woman out. None of that happens anymore. It's just like they kind of act like they're entitled to it. But they don't, again, they're offering nothing up in return. So I thought this was an, an interesting read. And let me know what you, let me know what you guys think of this stuff. They say bonus getting down on one knee. Smart men don't get married. No, we don't, we don't get down on one knee for anyone anymore. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. You know, am I, am I off on this one? Uh, do you guys agree? Again, I'm not talking about going out of your way to be rude to a woman or mean to a woman or treating them subhuman. That's not what we're about here. I'm I just saying now, treat strange women or everyday women as you would a man, which is no better or no worse. They don't get ahead of me in line. I don't offer to open doors or carry heavy things for them anymore, just like I would in a dude. But if I do something for, my guy, for a guy, like helping him uh, open a door or something or, or doing something like that, then yeah, that's called being a good human being. But women don't get special treatment until women start being special again. Thank you.